mana mana. Sekarang saya di Halal Ramen Shinjuku. So it is a new restaurant. It actually has not opened up yet. Um, I came here because of Navito San's events. Um, so I'm very happy to meet Navito San today. And today is Saturday, September 2nd, and it officially opens on September 4th. So Navito San, can you introduce yourself? Hi, um, my name is Navito. And then I am a, uh, I'm an influencer of the halal food, and I make content for Muslim traveler in Japan. And then recently, uh, I operate Halal Nabi, which is the the, the biggest uh, halal platform in Japan. Mm -hmm. And I try to make Japan more Muslim friendly country. Okay, that's yeah. really great. I think that um, a lot of Muslims here really appreciate having mm -hmm. access to more halal food. So I think what you're doing is really great. Thank you. And how did you? first come up with this idea? Uh, actually, uh, I didn't know about Islam mm -hmm. and uh, halal things before going to Malaysia. Mm -hmm. And then uh, after I studied Malaysia for one year, okay. yeah, I met okay. so many Muslim people. Okay. And then they uh, always talk, me, talk to me like they want to go to Japan. Okay. But uh, some of the people say like it is really hard to find halal food <laughs> during trip. Mm -hmm. That's why uh, they couldn't had very good time. Yeah. Okay, because of the lack of halal food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, I see. And I know that there are a lot of uh, beautiful culture and then very delicious food in Japan. Mm -hmm. So I want to, I want them to know a lot mm -hmm. about it. So I just came up with idea. And if the if the Muslim people can share the information, halal information on platform, mm -hmm. it's gonna be good. It's gonna yeah. be, it's gonna change the world. Okay. Yeah. So you started this idea from having Muslim friends in Malaysia. True. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. And when did you go to Malaysia? Uh, I went to go to Malaysia since 2021, I guess. 2020, 21. 21. Until last year? Uh, until last year. Oh, I see. So you just came back from studying. Yeah, sure. I see, I see. Was it an exchange? Or? Uh, yeah, exchange student. Exchange student. Okay. Yeah, just one year. I see. And are you a, still a student now? Uh, I graduated. You graduated. Yeah, okay. I have graduated. Okay, so now you're working. I'm working, yeah. Okay, so is this um, halal navi? Is that like a side project besides your work? Uh, no, no, it, it's together? my main. It is your main. It's my main oh, project. I see. The main job. Main job. Yeah. So do you have like an office somewhere too? I have an office in Malaysia. Yeah, okay. central, yeah, central world, but uh, yeah, not in Japan, no. Not in Japan. No. So you kind of like do your own thing, go to different halal restaurants yeah, and like true, different yeah, true, true. I see, I Actually, see. I have some co-worker mm -hmm. in Malaysia, yeah. and then uh, my co-worker is Muslim, mm -hmm. and then uh, developer also mm -hmm. who is Muslim. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, but they all, uh, they all stay in Malaysia. I see, so you contact them through like social media and yeah, things like yeah, that. Sure. Oh, okay. And I'm curious, what was your impression of Muslims before you actually met them face-to-face? -face? Uh, I mean, I I know Muslim Islamic culture from textbook mm. or I think when I when I first know about Muslim, it was like the Doj Ah, like terrorism? Yeah, yeah terrorism, oh. yeah, on TV. On TV, yeah. Yeah, I got, I got shocked about the news. Yeah. Uh, so I was a bit scared to be honest. Yeah, yeah. yeah but after going to Malaysia, actually the, the people who are Muslim were very friendly. Mm. And then they invite me at open house after Ramadan. Oh, yeah, I try I try fasting also. Oh, okay. Yeah, for oh, just one day. Just one day. And how, how was your experience? <laughs> what? It was okay. It was good. It was good. Yeah. I I don't think I can try for one month. One month, yeah. yeah but, but one day is okay. One day, yeah, I, I enjoy it. And I'm sure after when you break your fast, have you start, it probably tastes really delicious mm, at the end very, of the day. Very good, that was like very good, yeah. Okay, I have a question. And what did you study in university? Uh, during university, I studied business uh, administration. Oh, okay, okay. So it's kind of, kind of really, because it's like a business. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, I see. Yeah. And how did you like... Um, I guess from knowing your Malaysian friends or Muslim friends in Malaysia, what is it just because like you knew oh they have a, a difficult time finding halal mm -hmm. options that you said okay I want to make an app or I want to make some kind of social media platform to help them is that kind of where it started or oh, was like oh I just want to help my friends and then something else sparked your kind of business idea? Uh, yeah, that's a good one. Actually, halal navi is 
I, I'm not the found one. Uh, I'm not the founder. The founder. I just took over from the owner. Okay, yeah, because okay. uh, during COVID, Hawab Nabi didn't work at all. Right, Nobody right. travel. Right. And then the owner almost gave up right. with the idea. I see. And I thought Hawab Nabi is very, very important application mm -hmm. for Muslim yes. people. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to make it die. I don't want to make it stop. So I just took over I see, and I, see. I decided to restart again. I see. Yeah. I see. So the, the followers that you have right now on your, um, is it like Halal, yes. halal Nabito? Is that what uh, it is? Yeah, Nabito Halal. halal. Yeah. halal. Is that from um, followers from the previous person who was doing it? Or is it just once you started, you started to get more followers? Yeah, yeah I started from, from March this year. Oh, so and the, the, the number yes. of followers you have. Oh, yeah, more. sure, yeah. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> well, how many followers do you have? I think 100. Which month? 10k is which month? 10k. Okay, 10k, 10,000. So 10,000. 10, wow, yeah. so more. So how did you, I guess, what did you do to basically reach out to get that many followers? Actually, I make, I make reels. Oh. About halal food and a mosque. I see, I see. And then, yeah, I studied, I studied my content from Japan. Uh, yeah. And after this, I went to Malaysia. Oh, yeah, and then I tried some uh, Islamic culture and then, you know, fasting. Mm -hmm. It is also in my content, also. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. And I got some food from Malaysia. Mm -hmm. And then I went back to Japan. Okay. And then I restarted again. I see. So like each time like you make more connections in Malaysia and they get interested mm. in Japan and then maybe they share with their friends yeah, and that's yeah, yeah. Thing. Oh, okay. I wanted to ask you since you work with a lot of like are you you know, you go to different halal restaurants mm. and different mosques and things like that. Do you have any um, halal food recommendations, halal restaurants? Oh actually I have some uh, nice halal restaurant in my mind. But uh, I tried this restaurant mm. and then uh, halal ramen in Shinjuku. Mm. It was really good actually. Mm. I tried like spicy miso ramen, miso ramen. Mm -hmm. and then the noodle, noodle is really good, good quality. Good yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then the, the spicy stuff is good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then the, the stuff are friendly. Mm. Yeah, I, I think, yeah, I want to recommend here. Okay, so halal ramen Shinjuku. <laughs> you should try it. <laughs> um, and I wanted to ask you. What do you think, or how do you think the halal industry will grow in Japan? And also, how do you think the Muslim community will grow in Japan? Or maybe not grow, or any changes you see happening? <laughs> mm, I think, uh, I think, from my viewpoint, mm -hmm. the halal industry is getting growth because uh, there's very big uh, World War event like called uh, Osaka Banpaku. Oh, what's Osaka Bambu? Osaka Bambu, you know? No, what's Osaka Bambu? 2025, there's a... Uh, I don't know like how to say Exhibition? Exhibition, yeah, yeah, oh, okay, exhibition. Okay. In, in, uh, in Osaka. Mm. It's a very big event. So many people will come to Japan. And uh, yeah, of course, it's including Muslim people. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so... They try to invite more Muslim people. And then nowadays, as you can see, like more and more halal restaurant yeah. is opening yeah. and then the government also try to promote to Muslim people mm -hmm. not only for Muslim also vegetarian and then the other yeah, foreigner more, yeah, yeah more diverse, diverse. kinds of yeah, restaurants yeah. Okay, okay yeah because you know Japanese industry like uh, Japanese economic situation is mm. not very good to be honest mm, yeah. yeah yeah so they want to invite foreigners because mm -hmm. they have money yeah yeah so they try to prepare right right mm. okay. i think it's gonna be more easy to uh, to to visit to in japan, visit japan for muslim yeah, yeah, yeah i agree as well so i don't think i mentioned this in this video but um for myself i also try to do um Instagram reels or just post about halal restaurants, um, Muslims in Japan or mosques. So actually meeting Nabito-san was, uh, I was really happy to meet him today because he's doing the same thing. So I also agree with what he said that I think with time it's actually becoming more easier for Muslims to visit or live in Japan with the growth of halal restaurants and more places to pray, just the increase of Muslims in general. So people are maybe a little bit more familiar with Muslims now than they were like 10, 20 years ago. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. And uh, do you have any last words or any comments that you would like to say <laughs> <laughs> to our viewers? Yeah, uh, I hope you're gonna come to Japan and I enjoy the Japan vibes. And then, yeah, actually, Japan has a very beautiful culture and people are nice. So, yeah, come to Japan. And then, when you come to Japan, please refer my reel, my account. <laughs>
And you can check them out at Navito underscore hello. Great. Great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, 10k, 10,000, so 10,000. 10, 10,000. Wow, yeah. so many 